Now um, I've taken this out the scanner housing and taken it apart. I've um, I've actually discovered that it's got RGB colours um, on the LED, and I've actually wired it up to a nine volt battery. And I just thought I'd just show you um, it work. I've got red, I've got green, I've got blue, and you can actually mix the colours. I can mix the green and red, which makes like an orange. I can mix the blue and the red, which makes purple. Uh, the blue and the green, which makes a different shade, more like a turquoise sort of greeny colour, greeny blue. You know, there's there's various things I can do in uh, mixing. Green and red, I've already done. Now I can mix all the colours together, which is supposed to be like a whitish colour, but it's a little bit more of a faint purplish because the 9 volt batch I use has gone down a bit in charge. Um, I don't know what voltage that will support, but it supports the 9 volt battery pretty well. But when I started off to test it, I used a couple of resistors to drop it down in uh, brightness just for testing. Now, as to the wiring, this one here I found that um, the live goes to one end of the four pins. And now, in order for me to find out that, I used a 3 volt battery and I probed across the terminals with caution. When I found out how to light up each colour, I discovered that the live is a permanent feed. And the, uh, and the negatives, or the earth should I say, or, yep, yeah, I think that's how you put it on this, is the three colours. So then I've got the blue, the red and the green. Okay, I've, only, I've got a black wire for the blue because that's all I can find in my kit. So I just thought you might find this interesting. So there we go. Red and blue, simulate police car. Now I've seen these sort of things on cars, but they stroll backwards or forwards like Night Rider. But if anyone wants to play around with lights, make like a disco kind of effect. This might be of interest.